New Space News viewers are familiar with Robert Godwin, publisher of Apogee Books, based in Burlington, Ontario. His intrepid team has single-handedly taken on the disorganized 35-year-old historical archive at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. This week, we are going to pull back the curtain to reveal the labor of love that is the NASA Mission Reports. I believe that there is a, a future for us as a species but only if we actually do get off planet Earth. And um, I'm keen to, to do my part to educate people. I'm blown away at the depth of lack of knowledge out there today about the history of space exploration. It, it just amazes me that there is still this huge group of people who think that it was faked. And that horrifies me, um, because I, I think of Apollo 11 particularly as being the apex of mankind's scientific achievement up to this date. I don't believe we've done anything to surpass that. I have a theory about Rob Godwin. I don't quite think he's human. I think he, he may have been a construct, possibly out of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Whenever you ask him a question about any aspect of any mission that has happened pretty much since Sputnik, Rob will pause for a moment and get this slightly dreamy look on his face and then out will come this answer that I couldn't write <laughs> given a day to work on it. The ones that I do myself um, and the NASA mission reports and I, I tend to be the person who compiles that information and edits them and then I design the DVDs and design the covers as well. What was really very very dry for most people who study the NASA missions becomes exactly what it always should have been great stories about the greatest adventure that we have ever undertaken. The fact that space exploration brings out the best in us, it, it, it addresses not just science, but it addresses what goes deep inside us, our ability to, to want to know what's over the next horizon. And I, I also believe that it also holds the, the potential for where we're going to go if we're going to survive.